yep back out again in Scotland over the border sneaked over the border again it's late Friday afternoon four o'clock I'm heading up there a big big old lump whew got a good walk ahead done this before about five or six years ago and I said at the time that I would like to come back and here I am back I'm back just me on my own M's Adventures is off to Scotland as well but further north Glencoe way the weather it's forecast to be dry like but a bit breezy keep the midges off and as long as it stays dry till I get the tent up I'll be happy bah, fly in the friggin mouth but yeah I can up there oh looks a killer from here let's get going warm hot but dry I'm a sweaty mess. There's no breeze in there. Whew. It's all up there, the breeze, I think. Oh, sweaty, sweaty. You know what, right? It's nice and calm here, no wind. It's by water. And there's no midges. There's not one midgie. Even down there where it was nice and calmer. There's not a breath of wind in there, not one midgy. That's weird. That's weird. Whew. You don't have to go far up here and it opens up. Look at that. Solway of Firth. And the tide's in. Oh, amazing. That's some stretch of water, that Solway. Like. Take off the other side is the lake district. So if you're in the northern fells looking north you'll see this this hill criffle. It's the biggest one you can see right on the shore. I always wondered what it was years ago. And uh, Roger and Diane told us gone for a ratch or the ratchers. How are you doing by the way? Uh, they told us so I made it a mission to get up. It was a mission as well, because there's no path. It was all bog. Nightmare getting up. But apparently, it's all been tidied up and there's a path. I think this, it was like this. It's when you get on the, the actual hill to out, come out of the forest onto the hill. I think there's a new path. I'll find out. Should make it easier. But it's just, oh, it's just all the way 
from the car park is just up. Whoo! Mile and a half of up. There's no let off. But you know, I knew it would be like this. I knew what to expect. Still I came. <laughs> I think it's going to be breezy up there. It's just a bit blowing a bit down here, so it's all right though. Keep the midges off even more. It's weird, isn't it? No midges. Very strange. So you come, coming up. Don't go that way. Stay left. That way it takes you. I have no idea. Probably up there. I wonder where that caterpillar's going. Oh, so you come out the forest, and there is a path. Never used to be. It's, last time I was here, it was all bog. Basically, I think I went up that way. But they've kindly made a path. It makes it easier, but it's really steep. So you're going up there. That's not the top. There's another bit after that. But then it's after that. So I've only got about, um, I've got about, say, three quarters of a mile left to walk. So it's less than two miles from the car. But it's, uh, it's not an easy two mile. It's a nice walk. Through the forest there was lovely. Some nice little picnic spots you could stop. And a cup of tea. But I think we'll come back when we're at the top because it's a bit featureless. It's this path. So much easier walking on the path. Like. Yeah, I was, I was over there. Last time I came, I went up that way and I came back down next to the, I stuck by the trees. Just the, di the most direct route. Whew. Oh, I just thought i come back, not far off the top, but when I get up, I might lose this view. So look, look at that. Wow, you can see the car park down there and the little white dot in the little van. Whew. It says no van I park and you know, but I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna walk the hills, do some, uh, do some night photography and then I'll go back down. So, you know, I'm not camping there. It is a car park. I think when it says no overnight parking, right? It means they don't want you sleeping in the van or your camper van or whatever. I think if you go up in the hills or go for a long walk and you, you camp, you know, you stay overnight, or you're out all night. I think you're all right. There's a little donation box. I'll stick a few quid in there. Ugh. But I think it's I think it's to do with camper vans. The no overnight parking bit. Yeah, I'll find out tomorrow. I'll find out tomorrow when my glasses all smashed in. <laughs> Look at that though. Amazing. So I remember this bit, the wall of doom, actually the wall of destiny, because it means you're at the top. That path is just it's so good. I've only took about an hour to get up. And I think the first time I came, it took about two hours. It was just absolutely leg breaking. Whoo! So that path made a big difference. Good. Oh, more accessible. Here we go. So this is the actual summit. 569 meters. And tap out, boosh. OS point. Oh, nice. Look at the views. It's all about the views. 
Right, that tide's right in. So over there in the cloud is the skidders. <laughs> Sounds wrong, doesn't it? Over there, the, the Lake District, Skiddo on the Northern Fells. It's the Solway Firth, Dalbeatty. I'm not sure what the, I think it's Shawness, it's called that little town down there. I was gonna have a visit there tomorrow. No overnight camping in the van though. Everywhere you go around here, they're not letting you park overnight because the motorhomes have ruined it like. Irresponsible folks have ruined it for everybody. So I'll have to find somewhere. I'm gonna try and find a pitch on the other side of that. It's called Douglas's Cairn. No idea who Douglas is, but he's got a cairn. You can, ooh, a cairn. I don't know. There's water. Water sources on the way up, like um, rivers in the forest. I've seen them at the beginning there. I wouldn't fancy drinking that stagnant pond there. Aye, there's no midges. It both pleases me, and I'm a bit disturbed that there's no midges. There's a part of the ecosystem, aren't there? The midges have got to exist, as annoying as they are, for the, uh, the birds and the bats. Eat them, don't they? I did some research, like, I was. I typed in, googled, what's the point of effing midges? And it come up with all this feeds that are uh, part of the food chain for the birds and the bats. So, so there is a point to them. Just don't want them eating me, that's all. Oh, this looks like a decent spot. Last time, I'll show you what I pitched last time, the wind was blowing this way. Now I've got the opposite effect. So the last time I came, I pitched here. This was my spot. Ooh, it was great. It was proper sheltered because of that. Because the wind was just coming straight over there. Now, the wind is coming from this direction. I can pitch over here. And I did find a pitch over here the last time and I thought, oh, it would be great pitching there. But the wind was blowing the wrong way. But today, the wind's blowing the right way, sort of. Still in the wind a bit, but you know, I get somewhere around here. I'll find somewhere, always do. So, there you go, top of Criffle. This is what it's like. Yeah, the last time I came up was right, I came up from there, right down there, and I walked along that wall all the way along to the trig. There was no gap, literally, just had to make your own way. <laughs> right. Let's find a pitch out the wind if I can. Right, here we are. Pitched back to the wind. See the wind's blowing on the back there. I've pulled the guy lines like that, so that's not getting the, um, the stress on the sides. Should be all right, it's not brilliant. I mean, it brought the wrong tent. I didn't realize how windy it was gonna be up here. It doesn't matter, like. It's all right inside. I've got the deltas in. Bit of an issue. I think that pole might be snapped. It's not sitting right that like. That might be that might have snapped. I don't know, I don't know, like I think it's just not not in properly. I don't know, I don't know what I've done. It doesn't look right, does it? Yeah, it's up. It's up, that's all that matters. That's my view. Woo, what a view. A view to a kill. God, it is. It's amazing. All that to see. The Solway Firth. It's huge. Ooh. But inside, oh, I haven't got my stuff set up yet. Oh, blimey. Oh, it's lovely to get out the wind. Yeah, so I had that pole at the back. Be all right. I'll have to investigate. I'm not taking it apart now. It's too windy. Look at that though. What a view. The view out the door. I'll be cooking in here later. And I'm just gonna get the rest of my stuff set up. It is 20 to six. Like I say, I didn't take long to come up here. It was quicker than I thought it was gonna be. It's not cause I'm dead fit. It's just, I think that path just makes life a lot easier. 
as I remember the last time. Have a look at my old video. I'll um, I'll see if I can find the link for it and post it. Post the link for that video when I came up the first time. It was that was brutal that walk. Put us off. When I heard there was a path, I thought, ah, that might be better. Anyway, right, I'm gonna get set up and um, I'm gonna tighten everything down. Like sort of anything that's flapping, I'll, I'll tighten it. These doors can be a bit tighter. Yeah. Right, here we go. It'll be all right, it's not that bad. Well, tightened it down as best I can. It's not gonna get any better than that, like. That pole's definitely not right, look at that. Tricky, be all right, man. It's now, it's nothing to me. Ah. So, here we are. Oh, let's see what we've got. Nice and cozy in here. Out the wind, it's lovely out the wind. It's the usual stuff. Got some, uh, I don't know eat them, on it? Some large white pitters. I've got a, Nice. Mice. Uh, 36 day matured Aberdeen Angus sirloin. Oh, oh yes. Black seed and onions. And some lettuce with a bit of garlic and herb mayo. Nice. In the pit of breads. Imagine steak sandwich. Yep. Yeah. Anybody? Steak sandwich? Anybody? Nobody? Anybody? Good game, good game. Heathen, you've got to have faith. Bit of tram and an original punk IPA in the original can. It's like a, um, a celebration of the fact that some kind of milestone. So they've got, that's the original can that punks used to come in. It's just a one-off. All right, only them. Five cans, five cans good. That's all you need, man. Been taking cans home the last few camps, so I just thought I wouldn't bother. Bound to run out now, aren't I? It's very threatening that, but forecast is, forecast not for rain until like overnight. So uh, four o'clock, five o'clock in the morning, it said, and then no more until 10, 11 o'clock. I'll be down by then. Yeah, so just there's a path there. It's strange. Last time I came up, it was so barren. There was nothing. It was so hard to get up. But there were so many people coming up. Do you know what I mean? It was a Saturday when I came up. I come in here, I went. It was a Saturday when I came up. And it was so busy. But I came up late. So I could pitch late, you know. Um, but there were still loads of people coming up and loads going down, like, I mean loads, like 20, 30 people. With families, with kids and all that. <laughs> but there was no path, they were just bog, bog bashing. Bashing their way through the bog. But now, with the path there, I'm expecting tomorrow morning, people coming up, so... I know I'm close to the path, but really there's nowhere else to pitch. So, I'll have to be up sharp packed up in a way. I mean, it's only gonna take us half an hour to get down, if that. We'll probably run some of the way. It's a nice little running, grippy path to run on. Right, I'm gonna have my first beer because it's now six o'clock. I think I'll start on the Juicy Forsyth. Oh, brucey juicy. You know, it makes sense. It's goodbye from me, it's goodbye from him. Um, yeah, that's it really. Right, get that on. A bit of uh, smoked salami. Let's see what it's like. Could be spicy like. Oh, what do you think? <laughs> spicy. <laughs> that didn't work. 
I'm on the uh, uh, couldn't hear for the wind. The wind's terrible. So this is the Solway tides going out. It's weird when the tide goes out. What you can see there is the sand, sandbars, and that tides coming back, withdrawn this way. It's good, but what a phenomenon! Phenomenon, phenomenon. This is the wall of doom. Every one of these rocks is loose. Hoo I'm up there. It's absolutely freezing. Look, I've got my big coat on. <laughs> that wind's freezing. Ugh. These rocks of doom. Ugh, I can't walk on them ones. I'm just gonna fall like that. Aye. So I'm just having to wander about. A bit mooch. Oh, just spat. Ugh. A dog. Ah, oh, the wind man. You can't hear now. But yeah, that's mad, isn't it? The, the way the tide goes out. Come back later on, it'll probably all be gone, like all sand. It's weird. Where does it go? <laughs> oh, I'm going back in the tent. I'm just sitting, it's good. I've got the back to the wind, so I'm nice and sheltered. But it's quite nice in the porch. But you can't, you can't really do much. You can't walk around. It's just freezing cold. Just come off the rocks. Just coming up to the pitch. Look at it. <laughs> it's getting a right battering. Well, that's only like about 18 mile an hour. It's not wild. But yeah. See these fiberglass poles, man? The crap. You need aluminium poles. Let's get pushed in a bit here. Yeah, it'll be all right. No, I'm not worried. It went through, it went through worse than this on the Isle of Harris. It's getting pushed in a bit though. I mean, the wind is a changing direction. Try to tell. See, it's blowing that way. It's blowing that way, but it's pushing that side in. So it's coming round. It's coming round from that side as well. Pushing in there. I might pull this. This guy line might pull it out here. Just to keep that out. I might do a bit of shifting. Bit of the old shifty. Oh, I'll get back in, Howie. Remember these. Millipedes. I used to play with these. We used to have these school them. Oh, look, look at that. We've got amazing, incredible legs. Hey, millions of legs. I might have. Uh, I might have squashed this one. Millipede. Right, having this. Nearly time for the steak. Well, here we go. We're on. We've got the uh, the garlic butter in, cooking the mushrooms and the onions. Just gonna reduce them down. Sorry, the black scene and the onions. Reduce them down to. Well, they go right. Really vanished to nothing, don't they? The big lad there. Eh? Thirty-six day mature. And put that in last, so I don't want to um, burn it. You see, or overcook it. And then I'll slice it up and chuck it all in the pita breads with a bit of lettuce. Nice bit of iceberg. Lovely bit of iceberg. Yes. Well, nice and crispy. Lovely. Look, I might put my um, my windproof trousers on. It's so cold out there. No, I'm Nuts, isn't it? Nuts. I'm going to keep these moving. I haven't got any more garlic butter, that's the problem. I should have brought two. I only brought one thingy. Hopefully they'll put a little bit of water out. Keep the pan moist. 
Right. Well, we're off anyway. Let's have a gun on this, eh? Steak's cooked. We've got the slices. Put the mushrooms in. The steak slices going in there. Oh my god. That is so nice. That 36 day mature. Even if you overcook it, it's still tender like. Final, a final touch coming up. <laughs> it's hard filming this with one hand. I need, I need a cameraman. There we go. Oh, no, God, oh, it's lovely. Look at the weather. What's happening? I've been enveloped. Mmm. That's the greatest sandwich known to man. That steak is so tender. Beautiful. So get a um, recommendation. Get the 36 day mature. Because even if you overcook it, like what I think I've done, it's still dead tender. You can't go wrong with one of them, like. It was like £4.50. It's fun now. Right, I'm gonna get on with this. And then we'll come back and talk some rubbish later. I can't believe the weather is what's happened. Hi. Here I am. Here I am. Enveloped. Wait. <coughs> oh, them sandwiches were lovely. Really nice. That tender steak. Oh man, I enjoyed them. The pita breads were a bit shite. They let it down. I need to get some better, better quality pita breads. The ones we had last week, the war buttons, they're better. They weren't pre-cut, I had to cut them and then cut my hand off. Uh, I've been enveloped a bit, a lot of cloud coming over, so the views have basically vanished. It's a shame because I just caught a glimpse of the, um, over there, the, the Solway. It looked mad, it looked amazing. It's a shame that uh, the clouds covering it, look, it's, it's sort of clearing a bit. Crazy though. I don't know if you can make it out. See how it just appears. <laughs> All the sand. <coughs> God, that water goes out a long way. That's amazing. That is fantastic. Looking at that, I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but that is incredible. And you've got you've got the sun just shining through the cloud there. Ah, oh, it's a shame about this. It's coming over. Right, what I'm going to do is, oh, I'm going to get in, because it's freezing. can't believe how cold it is. I'm going to get in, and um, just batten down the hatches, really. I think it's going to be okay. I did move the guy lines, I pulled the guy lines in a different direction which has given that a bit more stability there where it was getting blown in, it's not as bad now hopefully the wind drops down a bit I've closed the vent at the back because in case it rains I don't want the rain coming through that vent I'll open these front ones I might keep that front door open it's not bad tent you know I mean it's put up with it it's just those poles, those fiberglass poles are they're really not good any tent, any tent, any tent with fiberglass poles, right? 
don't take it out in high wind. And don't like don't manhandle them like you can um like you can do that with aluminium poles they'll like give a bit, you know, they'll give a bit of bend. Fiberglass poles just snap. They're so brittle. That's the problem with fiberglass poles. They're really brittle. I mean that's that's gone that like. That is gone. But that's alright. Cheap enough tent, I've had some good use out of it. I'll probably still use it, even with the broken pole. I mean, it's not, it's not the end of it. It's just not recommended in uh, high winds. There you go. The Fox would have been probably better, the Fox 2. Oh, look at this man, it's gone grim, hasn't it? Grim. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna get back in, <coughs> get the music on, Radio 6, 80s, all 80s tunes, it's been great. All day I've been listening to the 80s. My era. Right. Wait, it's some scene from a John Carpenter film. Douglas's can. Andy's view. It was good while it lasted. You've got to take the rough with the smooth. Somebody else said that. You've got to take the rough with the smooth and the wind's dropped. Yeah, the wind has dropped. It's significantly less blustery. So, what I'm going to do is, get in, get in. Oh, look, slug, a slug. Ugh. Ugh. Sluggy. Ding, all right. Oh, that was nasty. It was like a garlic flavoured slug. Not too bad though. Right. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to get in. I've cleaned my pan and I've put the stove away. So I've just got this one for tomorrow's cup of tea. Oh, look. Another slug. Ah, uh, no. Not this time. Bloody slugs. They're crawling everywhere, that's why you got you can bring everything in, you know. Bring everything inside. That's why these um these bigger tents are better, because you can bring all your stuff in, because you'll get all sorts of crawling around out here. It's because it's moist. Ugh, it's moist matron. So you're gonna get all kinds of creatures that come in to get out of the they come in like me to get out of the elements, really. Can't blame them. Find a bit of shelter, like a tent, a handy little tent. They're gonna come in, aren't they? So I'll just bring all my, um, all my bits in. And water. I've got my bin back there. Gas. Just bring everything in. And bring my shoes in. Later on, just keep them for when I get out. But yeah, that's it, that's the night. So we're having a nice can of heathen. You heathen. Heathen tastes, oh, it's got a nice taste. It's like, um, oh, it tastes like lavender and shame. That's what that tastes like, heathen. A lavender and shame. Guilt. No, it's not guilt, it's just shame. It's nice. I like it. I like a bit of shame. Nice. Right, so. Yeah, I'm just tacking rubbish now. I'm just, this is just content filler. Right, we're gonna 
switch off, put the radio back on. I can't have the radio on when I'm talking. Oh, look at that, man. Oh, yeah, buggies. Well, I mean. Oh. Ah, I'm finished. I'm done. I'm done for the night. Oh, it's been a good night. I've had a, I've had a nice, relaxing time, you know. I mean, apart from the fighting the elements again, the weather, the wind, it ah, doesn't matter. Didn't expect it to go so um, foggy or cloud. It's it's probably just cloud, you know, down in the um, where I started from the car park. Probably no cloud at all. It was forecast to be quite clear down, low down. Uh, I think I'm at 569 meters, but that that's from sea level, you know. It's not like it's not like you start halfway up the hill. That is from sea level. You are down right on the the zero point, right near enough. But yep, yeah, nice food. Um, I had some good music on. Sounds of the 80s. The what do you call it? The radio radio six had the eighties mixers on, and then I put DJ Spoony on Spoon, which was good music, all good. I've got Pete Tong there lined up, ready just to go to sleep too. I've closed the the main door at the front there, and then the mesh, only the mesh, and it's got it's got a solid mesh zip like this. So it's like. Claim to be a four season tent this. But no, nah, I don't I don't know. I'm not sure. It's flappy, you know. Feels a bit loose. It needs it needs uh it needs a bit of tweaking, like it could do with a point there to fasten the fly sheet. See? And some extra guy lanes on the sides here. Just to pull it out. But you know what, right, for 60 quid, you can't complain. It's solid as a bloody rock. I've been out shaking it and it's not moving. It's not going anywhere. Even with that um, weird pole. So we're gonna go to bed now. I do a few impressions before I go to bed, right? <laughs> I'm not gonna do any impressions. I'm not doing any impressions, okay? I'm never doing any impressions ever again. Never. Don't ask. And thee shall not seek. No. Don't seek and thee shall not receive. Or something. Anyway, tomorrow night is the van. I'm not going to do it. Um, I don't think. I don't know. I might. I always say this. I might not do a little video for the. Um, wherever I go. I'm not sure where I'm going tomorrow. It's so hard finding places to park for the van. There's just um, loads of like. Lots of places now is no parking overnight. Is I really cracking down on it? So I don't know. I might end up in a campsite for for I don't know. I'll find somewhere. So I'm not going to commit. I don't know if I'm doing a van thingy or not. This this flex tail mat that's so comfortable. It's really really comfortable. Feels warm to the touch as well. I'm not promoting this. There's no promotion going on here. You might notice I've not done any uh, promotion videos for a while. That DYU bike was the last thing. Just there's nothing, nothing out there, you know. I was looking at them. Um, who did it? Tom Heaney did a review of a tent. The shell, I think it was called a 3FUL gear shell. That looked like a good tent. That looked really good, nice and spacey. And he had, it was like a, uh, it was like a lanshan, but it had a pole going over the top. So it had like an acto pole with a lanshan shape. So I found with the Wistlux Lori tent that I had, which this looks similar. The trekking poles either end, you know, but it had a, a pole going over the top. The, the trekking pole tent I had, the pole was right in the middle there, so I kept banging into it. When I was trying to get in and out the door, you know what I mean? It was right in the way. 
at that tent he did. Tom Heaney's Adventures, have a look. Did a good good review. That, that tent looks great. That tent looks really good. If campalists are watching, I'll try that one out for you. I like the look of that. Anyway. Right, I'm waffling on. So I'm going to go to bed, go to sleep. We'll see you the next day. We'll see you in the morning. Okay? Right? Right? See, there's my rubbish bag. I'll leave you with this beautiful view of my rubbish bag. Well, <laughs> it's tomorrow. Say, so tomorrow never comes. Tomorrow never dies. Look at the rain. Rained all night. I slipped through most of it, like. Oh, dear. But I still didn't get much sleep. There's a bird flapping around before. A little sparrow, little spuggy. Buzzing me tent. Noisy little devil. I know you're there. I know you're out there. I saw anyway. I just went to uh, crashed out last night. Straight to sleep, but I was up and down. So I'm gonna get my kettle on. Oh, pack my stuff, make like a tree, and get out to dodge. That's the great Gary Glitter once said. Who wants to live forever? Still going strong. Right, I'm gonna make this and have the most miserable cup of tea ever. Pure misery. Ugh. What a difference. Half an hour I can make. Look at that. And the wispy clouds. And the little fluffy clouds. I think I have a window of opportunity to get down dry and I'm going to take it. So we'll pack all this away. Still feel like little spots coming over, but I think it might be okay. Where's that coming from? Come on, let's go. <coughs> if there was a world record for packing away, I think I've just broke it. Oh, just before the rain comes. All I've left is that slug. Didn't eat it. Don't eat slugs, kids. Will make you very, very sick. So, just me little patch of flat grass. So it's goodbye to the summit of Criffle, Dougie's Cairn. And we're gonna head off down the path. If there's any spectacular scenery, we'll come back. If not, we'll see you on the next mad cap adventure. The winner of the tent, by the way, Tasha Uphill. Tasha up a hill. Check my community post for the winning person. She's never claimed it. I've never had me um, email from her. I'm hoping she's gonna see it. <coughs> Tasha up a hill. So if that's you, get in touch and I'll get it sent off. I'll give you two weeks. Two weeks to claim your tent. And then I'm going to redraw it again. Can I give the thing away? <laughs> oh dear. All right, hold on. Let's go.